Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're jumping onto the ladder with Android 17 and 18. Um, we've been on a big losing streak as I'm sure you've probably noticed from the uh, the drop in rank, but as I was sort of saying in the last video, or one of the last videos, I think it was mainly down to them fixing matchmaking, so I'm not upset about it. Um, it's obviously just that we are not a god caliber player right now. So we're just going to keep grinding. Um, keep doing matches. I, I think I'm going to try and maybe just stick to decks for now that I'm more comfortable with. So that would probably be like Android 17, 18, maybe a bit of Gohan, um, Frieza, for example, is another one. Beerus, U7, any of the red decks, pretty much I'm pretty comfortable on as well. So I think to try and climb, um, I need to just try and stick to those decks. I will obviously try and put in some videos of blue in there as well, you know, maybe some Vegeta again or some Goku Black, something like that. Um, but yeah, and apologies because I, I recorded my uh, ranked promotion games for God um, last week at some point. And I don't know what happened to the video. For some reason, it during the upload process, it just must have got corrupted or cut at some point. I don't know if it's maybe because the video was too long. I don't know if because of the size of the YouTube channel, maybe there's a restriction on how long a video can be. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, that, that kind of sucked a bit. Um, Alright, so we got Beerus in the opening game. We are going second, which is perfect. Uh, we are not keeping any of that, because that's honestly a really bad start in hand. We do have this, but it's I, I hate trying to rely on this card. This is kind of your, your last resort. It's not what you want to use to to start off your ramp stuff. Oh god, okay. So because he's red, I want to keep this card. Um, this is the best out green has to red. I, I really don't want to give this card up whatsoever. I do like that alt leader. Quite a nice alt leader, that. Not a big fan of the U7 one. I think the U7 one's a bit bland. Um, compared to the other, like, I think I think definitely blue got the best. Cooler's also very nice. Okay, we do have two of these now, so I think we just charge one. So, there will be possibility for us not to take crits here. Um, and the main reason being is that comboing a 10k to get out of his attack actually benefits us in this sense because we need androids in the drop. So, we, we're not really all that fussed about getting to 4, realistically. Um, at some stage he's going to have to awaken and then at that point we can just start taking the life when it actually comes back to hand. Um, depending on his build, obviously I've just seen him charge 2 crit cards here. So, um, But I do think that we... I think I could maybe take this one... Obviously, the crit could potentially help us as well if it is an android. So we'll take this one, and then I think after that, any other damage we want to take will be... Uh, sorry, we will look to combo out of it. And again, this doesn't do anything to us, so I'm not really sure why that's there. Uh, we can go ahead and charge this 4-drop, I think. We're not going to need this. And then we... Do we spend energy marker here? I'm just thinking, like, defensively-wise, what are we going to need that for? We haven't seen our Vegeta yet, so... It might be worth saving that. No, do you know what? Because if we do end up seeing the Vegeta, it's going to be really nasty. So I think we just do this now. We just spend the energy marker. It sets us up for the next turn as well. He's also put an Android in the drop for us off his crit. Um, so again, not the worst thing in the world. We are likely going to have to deal with two more turns of crit. Um... It could potentially be three, depending on if he just stays at four and starts swinging crits. Um, we have to be careful about what we combo out of, just in case he's playing the Vegeta crit card, or even the Beerus. Um, Beerus can also boost this as well. 
So let's have a think here. I think I'm just comboing out of this one. We'll see what happens. We are likely going to be playing with a low hand size. Um, but we don't want him to just get free crits here. Especially when us putting androids in the drop is actually our benefit. Okay, so he plays a Krillin. Yeah, it's a dead card, we just charge this. And then we'll just go ahead and ramp into this one for... Uh, actually, do you know what, we'll take... No, we'll take her just because if we do see Vegeta, we need a 3 cost in there. I am also just going to play her. Um, we're going to play an attack, there's no reason not to. Um, I don't care if he kills it this next turn, but I want to get, I want to dig to see if we see this Vegeta, which we don't. Um, but we are just going to get rid of a 10k. Or an android. Um, yeah, we'll swing it in. We'll make him awaken, hopefully. Or we'll just draw out some combo power. There we go. So he's drawn out both, both these combo pieces, which is fine by us. And then we'll just use this just to dig a little bit again. We probably should have played that actually, and we could have comboed onto this. That might have been a smarter choice, that was a bit of a mistake, because the, uh, the Whis is just going to kill that for free. So that was a mistake. So, of course, he's just going to look to crit us down. He, he's in no hurry to awaken here. If he does have another 4 drop Gohan as well, we could be in a bit of trouble. So, again, we're just going to combo out of that. Yeah, she could die. She's done her job. Okay, so he is awakening, so we don't have to worry about crits for the, at least from this leader for the rest of the game. Um, like I said, I think the only crit card right now I'm worried about is another Gohan 4-drop. And if he plays that, we're probably going to have to take it, because I'm not spending anything to, to get out of that attack. There we go. That would have been perfect for this turn, honestly. Okay, 8 drop Broly, still no good. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll charge this. We'll just go straight into the ramp. Okay, so we haven't seen Vegeta, which kind of sucks because it puts us a turn behind, more or less. Um, I think I'm just going to swing into this Krillin here. Okay, so we now have a super. I'm surprised he's letting that die, in all honesty. We could play both of these. Because they will both be 25s. I'm also tempted to put a gigantic meter onto this and swing here. So that'd be what, 50k going into 45, uh, 25? Nah, I don't think we bother with that. I think if we gigantic meter, I'd rather keep this for the defensive, and I don't think we're going to go any more than this card here. Our hand is going to be small, as long as that Gohan keeps swinging at us as well. Okay, 
Okay, so he runs the Shen that buffs his leader. Okay. I don't mind this card, honestly. It's it's just a weird one. I have been thinking about tinkering with it myself, but it's it's okay into green, I think, just because your leader becomes 30k, you don't have to spend any combo power to get over Broly, things like that, and honestly, in that they don't really have anything to remove this until they get to their 6 energy, so you at least get a couple of turns of good use out of it. But yeah, I think, I think we just pass here, honestly. I don't really want to put this out and just watch him combo out again. So between these three cards here, this is just dead, just off of Neg. You know, minus 10, minus 5, and minus 10. So it's, it's a dead card, but it's not the worst. I would rather keep the energy open just for the Gigantic Meteor, just in case. Because we really don't want to go to 5 for him to then play the Double Striker and try to put us down to 3. And we're not going to waste a super combo on this. So he's done the right thing by charging these cards here because he obviously he's, he's very aware of the six drop. So he's the, the only thing we can remove here is this, um, which isn't great, and. With this being 40k, he can neg it down to high- oh god. We do get to our Awaken though. I think we have to. What did he crit there actually? I missed it. Okay, it was another Android 19. I think we just take. We get to our Awaken. He still has his lead swing though, that's the problem. And of course now we see the Vegeta. No, we can't take this, can we? He's done a very good job. He's, he's playing this perfect. Um, into green, especially androids. You know, crits are just the way to go. Um, he's, he's played it absolutely perfect. I, I can't flaw him at all for this. We do have 17 targets for this 4-drop if we want to go in. I don't think I'm going to play the Vegeta this turn. We're not going to get any benefit of removal. I want to keep this just because it's still a double striker, although it's zero combo. Hmm. The charge is a difficult one. I can't just give away all my combo power, though. That's the problem. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do this. Just literally any android doesn't really matter which at this point. A secret rare would have been good here, actually. So we'll maybe attack first. We'll see what we draw. And I think we just gigantic meteor here. So we go 55 into 25. It's a big expenditure from him if he wants to save this. What do you want? Could go this route, maybe just try and draw some cards. But they are all going to be 20k's, that's the problem. No, I think we do this. I'm going to put an extra 5 onto this attack. So we'll pop this. We'll put this at 45. If he supers and saves it, I I'm not honestly against that.
That's if he has his supers. There we go. Cool. So we got rid of his crits, which, to be fair, at this stage, he's probably not that bothered about. Um, I say that. We can see what he does here. So we don't have to worry about this Beerus unless he has another Whis in hand, because he could lead Whis and then the Beerus would kill this, which would be awful. We're just going to take this one, I think. Ah, okay. God, come on, man. I love this card, honestly. I really should be expecting this a lot more. It's so good for Beerus. Okay. So I think he has a 5 drop, I think he just wants our Broly to go down first because he can neg it by 30. It's kind of annoying, I don't particularly want to charge any of these. We can't play her anyway because of Frost, at least we can't attack with her, so do you know what, she is just the charge. We're going to attack here because our Broly is going to kill that anyway, so we don't particularly care about it. And we have enough behind us, I think, to protect the Broly. Because this would go down to 15k, so we would have two attacks into it. We have a Super and we have a Gigantic Meteor because we're at 9 energy, so I think it's worth it. could just attack once as well, although the, the thing is, I think I want to attack twice just because I don't have another 8 drop in hand, and I don't have an android either. I know we're giving him cards in hand here, but if he can't kill us this turn, and I'm not saying he can't, but if he can't kill us this turn, we need to have two Broly attacks on one life. Or worst case scenario, we have him at one and we can swing with a 30k leader. Who's taken? That's it. I think I think he is looking to five drop. Um, but if he five drops, the likely the likeliness of him killing us this turn is very slim. It's just he will likely clear that Broly, which getting him at one life was kind of the goal anyway. So we're not taking this just because. If it is a double striker, we're not risking it. Okay, so if it is the five drop, the fool just won the game. Or that as well, I suppose. We're of course going to start taking these damages now, there's no reason not to. That sucks ass. Ah, oh. Seven cards in hand as well. We're sitting on an absolute ton of energy, right? So we're going to play the one drop first. We'll see what we draw into. That 
that's not bad actually, because that puts us at 6 and then we actually have this as well. And he can play the Android 18. Do we still have an Android 18 and drop? We do. Yeah, we're going to do this. We are also going to take the life because we, we're looking to kill him this turn. We'll just discard that. It's a 5k. It's, the 10k is better. What I want to do here, I mean, I could have played Gohan to kill this just so he doesn't have free combo power on board, but I need to just poke him down. I need to poke away at that hand before I go for the all-in. And remember, we always swing low to high. <sighs> that sucks. Of course we draw into the 8-drop now. So combo power-wise we have... So 55, 65, 75, we have 80, we have 85k. He has 4 cards in hand, right? Depending on how many supers he has, we should be okay. Full send it. Fuck it, we'll even give him a 0k for nothing. Should we at 85, right? 10, 10. Yeah, we're fine. He saw no supers that game. Ooh. That's rough. And there we go. He played it well. Those the early turns for sure he played well. The last couple of turns, I mean obviously I could see his hand there. He didn't have a five drop or anything. I don't know if he actually runs it. I assume he does, but um yeah, seeing no five drop and no super combo, that's a bit rough. So yeah, so we've we've gone back to Masters two. Um yesterday's recording obviously we dropped to Master Three. Um so yeah, I'm, i I wanna quickly have a look at that guy's list actually, just out of curiosity, because that was a very good list. Look at all these defeats, honestly, it's just upsetting. It's so upsetting now. Uh, right, so de no, details, yes, it was details, and then deck check. Let's have a look. I, I, I'm, I'm honestly not sold on this. The only the good thing about this card, honestly, is that if it doesn't come up, it's a 10k combo, right? So if you never find the place to play it, then it's at minimum a 10k combo, right? You've got that benefit. I don't like this card, I have never been a believer in this card. He runs four as well. Four or five drops and he saw none. Wow. This 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 list is actually giving me a bit of inspiration, Beerus. Um this card is fucking snapped. I love God Kamehameha. Beerus is not as fast as the other red decks, so the your opponent clearing your board is a likely outcome, meaning that for one energy you can just kill a 30k and if with Beerus you can kill the androids. It's just a 40k one energy gone, dead card. So he's given me a bit of inspiration on this list. I don't I don't believe in running four of these either. Um I know that you kind of want to swing with crits, but I'm not sure about this. It's, this is too many, you know, 5k's, 0k's, there's just there's not a whole lot of 10k's, which is kind of what red wants to run. Um but it was a decent list. Um and I've just realized we're at a thousand, so do you know what? Let's just go in and get ten packs, right? Why the hell not? Uh ten packs, there we go. No reason not to. We're going to end up losing them soon at some point anyway, so I'm not that fussed. We still need a Gohan SR, so let's see if we can pull. Oh! Oh! Did we get lucky? Ah! Oh. To be fair, I like that art. Yeah, we'll just skip it all. Okay, so we only got a couple of duplicates there. Not many. What do we get? Okay, so we got that. This is, honestly, I have so many of these, it's crazy. 
Oh god, I think I've now got four all arts and one or two of the all all arts. It's crazy. But oh well. I'm surprised we only got two wild cards out of that. Um yeah, I don't mind uh, I know that some people probably look at it going, why are you spending your thousand gems? I don't mind it as long as you know we're building towards um wild cards. It, it honestly doesn't bother me, but yeah, anyway, that was a decent game. I enjoyed that game. It was looking a bit ropey, honestly, into the mid-game there, but I think he uh, he bricked a little bit, and I think that the route he went on that last turn, it was probably the best route available to him. I would need to play it back to see what his hand was at the time, but yeah, it, it, it clearly sucked. But I don't think he saw any super combos, and he didn't see a 5-drop either, which is wild. Um, I actually forgot to check. He did have super combos, right? Yes, he does. Okay. But yeah, so... Good game though. Um, we're going to keep grinding on the ladder. Like I said, we've been on a bit of a losing streak, but we're going to try and get back to our winning ways. So I'm going to just start playing decks I'm a bit more comfortable with for a while. Um, not to say that we're going to win every match. It just gives me the best chance at climbing the ladder as possible. So, but guys, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.